What don't you dare? Uh, no, no, no. Awa, that's not funny. Guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette. I'm here with my assistant, Awa. I'm like, yes. And no, <laughs> that was the perfect. Can I show them? Oh, I perfect. need to show them. <sighs> okay, fine. Guys, the number one thing you want to look for is what? The sap coming out of the top. The sap coming out of the top. That's number one. That's mine. Number two, you want to smell it. If it smells fragrant, that's a really good sign. No Give me. These are not very ripe, so, okay. Number one, sap coming out of the top. Number two, smell it. Number three, the color. Never, ever, ever buy mangoes that are this color. You want to look for the darkest, deepest orange possible. Yeah, that's a good one. It's very orange. Yeah, but honestly, these are not, like, great quality. But we're going to do the best we can, and we're going to pick out five good ones. Awa, don't let me down, because everybody's watching you. And you might have to dig a little bit. Wait, uh, this one looks one? pretty good. But you want it to be that color. Because honestly, you'll never know if it's going to ripen. You never know if it's going to ripen. If, it, if you're getting these colors, it's just so unripe that it might... Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, that's why it's for sale, because it's shit. Uh, and then finally, guys, if you want it to be ripe, you want to look for those soft ones. Now, don't get the ones that are all mushy, where people have put their thumb into them, because then it's going to be all crappy inside. No, I don't do that. Okay, I got three... And yeah, these champagne mangoes, they're really good right now. Hopefully you guys can find some. Um, and I would personally go with these because the organic ones are $3 each. And it's like, fuck that. Oh, here's another good one. I got who wants to. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I will say bye.